We talk a lot about oil and energy on this program, certainly because I cover the space, but we also talk about renewables and we need to go back and revisit an important story that we brought to you last year out at the Mountain Pass Mine in California. If you want to make electric cars, solar panels, you want to make hydro, wind, whatever it is, you need rare earth minerals. The Mountain Pass Mine, one of the first operating facilities to try to bring back some of that supply chain from China. We're joined now by the co-chairman of that, Jim Latinsky, who we were out personally with a number of months ago. Jim, thanks for joining us. So much certainly has changed in the world. Hey, yeah. But how's the supply chain doing right now? Because yeah. this is a critical element to the U.S. economy long term. Absolutely. And so thanks, Brian. It's great to hear your voice again. And, and, and uh, you, you know, I think, uh, first of all, m my heart goes out to everybody affected by this terrible tragedy. Uh, you know, it, 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 there's nothing more important than life and death and family. And obviously, this could be any of us impacted. We're all impacted. And, and that's the most important thing right now. When we get through the acute stage of this crisis, which will happen and hopefully soon, um, we have to recognize that um, the single point of failure in our supply chain um, which is which is becoming so evident with the crisis we have in healthcare right now, um, extends across industry. And um, my concern, and the thing that you know, as you know, we've been uh, sort of very open and, and out front about this over the last couple of years, as we've been trying to rebuild the rare supply chain in the U.S., is that as a country we have this single point of failure. Right now, we have a life or death issue. That's certainly the most important thing. But when the acute stage of this crisis ends, this temporary unemployment that we have, hopefully everyone will be back in their jobs soon enough, um, is ultimately going to become a permanent situation if we don't recognize that um, slowly and methodically over time, uh, China is extracting our manufacturing and our advanced industries. And so our GDP longer term is at risk, and that's tens of millions of jobs in the country. No, it really, I mean, and Michael Dell said pretty much as much. People kind of dance around it, Jim, because it's a sensitive topic, right? They kind of use coded language like, we need to geographically diversify our supply chains because we're realizing medical equipment, pharmaceuticals, a lot of it's coming from China and that sometimes you can't get out. Are you guys up and running? And are you still able to help supply some of these makers of these, of these renewables that the economy yeah. is counting on long term? So we are up and running, and we are, we are producing 15% of the rare earth concentrate globally. And we are actually doing that profitably, even though the Chinese government taxes us via tariff and VAT nearly 40% of our revenue. So although we have 200 American heroes out there at Mountain Pass getting the job done, you know, we're pretty much under attack um, you know, by, by having to ship into China. We're ultimately working on a plan uh, that's underway where we're retrofitting our existing site, so we'll produce separated rare earths. But, Brian, here's the thing. When we do that and we are producing the rare earths, we will still not have solved the problem because ultimately, over the last 20 years, the Chinese have not just taken over the rare earth industry. They've taken over the magnet industry, which is what the rare earths go into. So when you look at your Tesla or you think about Apple, they're all buying their magnets, their rare earth magnets in China. So at MP Materials, our plan is we want to, you know, we want to ultimately solve the rare earth problem, but our, our plan, our mission is to restore the true supply chain to the United States of America which yeah. means we need to go continue to move downstream. You know, we certainly hope that industry will come. Um, and, you know, we hope that corporate America is held to account, too. You know, take as you, I saw you had a Tesla thing. You're about to talk Tesla. You know, they receive billions of dollars of subsidy, um, yet they buy their magnets in China. You know, at what point as a country, and I don't really think that this is too controversial. It's competitive. Um, but at what point as a country do we say, hey, our taxpayer dollars should not subsidize companies like Tesla and Apple that have brought their supply chains um, elsewhere. Uh, you know, certainly Wall Street and Silicon Valley have benefited. Clearly, we've had a few stimulus programs recently that, um, although money has gone to people, I think there's been a lot of discussion about, you know, where that stimulus yeah. is going. And, and I think we should have that discussion as a country, and we should think about the fact that I think Wall Street and Silicon Valley have disproportionately benefited. And I think as a country, we would be better off, and actually economically better off, by not making sort of the short-sighted supply chain choice of, in the short term, making stock prices go up by having supply chain overseas, but then encountering every five or ten years a major crisis where we realize that, you know, tens of millions of jobs are at stake because we've, we've, we've missed out on the bigger picture, longer-term strategic yeah. uh, situation. So if we can, hopefully in that, this that next... That is well okay. said. Yo, sorry, go ahead. Yeah. No, I was going to say, Jim, we, 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 we got to go there. No, I love it. Listen, it's well said, and here's the thing. It is, it's not controversial because that's the beginning of the conversation we're going to be having as a nation for the next years between trade wars and this. 
This is gonna completely change the way that businesses look at sourcing. We just gotta get through this, as you called it, right. acute period, certainly well said. Jim, good luck to you and your team. I can't wait to visit you in person again.